the yearning that I have in my life and that express itself in my work in everything that I do is to um, to be more connected, more intimate with uh, with life itself and with uh, with existence or its source. Call it the divine, call it uh, source, call it God, whatever the earth, however you understand, uh, you know, uh, the bigger picture. Yearning. At the base of it, it's that uh, idea of a notion of connection, of being connected. And how do we connect? So how we connect uh, with ourselves, with each other, with the earth, the land, our ancestors, the mountains, the rivers, the insects, or whatever, you know, in our communities, our families, and all of this. And maybe I realized how much I was not connected and how much I was uh, and maybe how it could be maybe a, a diagnostic for the world we live in, you know, how people, um, well, I don't know, I will talk to myself. I was not being so connected. The people around me were not feeling so great. An ecosystem of suffering, actually, you know, and then you see the wound in you and in people around you. And then it creates such a rage, you know, that consumes you. And when everybody is raging around you, it's a certain energy, you know, but that paralyzes, and that um, is not that fertile. It can be very fertile at first, you know, because there's a power in anger. It's like um, a fuel that can nourish you, you know, and that can be very creative until it burns you and destroys you somehow. You know? So um, I guess that's the the inner environment I was living in. And uh, that was um, in the way of this wanting to be connected, you know? 